When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my have to get going on harvesting but I always think of questions I get about whether it's worth it to have a tiny space whether it's a balcony or a small suburban garden or a patio to grow your vegetables is it worth it yes the short answer is absolutely yes I have a tiny tiny garden but if you break that garden into smaller spaces you would see that each one of those spaces you can grow so much so today I'm going to take you harvesting with me. So get comfy and get a cup of tea, coffee, just get super cozy and go harvesting with me because I'm going to show you every area of my garden and how much you can yield out of each one of them if you do it the right way. I don't have the best setup. I get very poor lighting here. The sunlight is really weak or none until April, almost May, and it just stops in September. I grow part of the year and not all the year. So I may grow from April all the way to September, October. So you can choose when you want to grow, what part of your area is the best to grow in and go ahead and make that small area thrive. You don't have to try to grow all over. Start in a small area and you'll see that you'll do a lot better and get more confidence to growing as much as you want in the future. So let's go harvest today. Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Melba and I love to grow as much as I can in food and flowers in my tiny backyard. Here's a small space that can be just like yours. I just have three beds in here and I grow tons of vegetables. Is it worth it? Can you grow vegetables? Absolutely. Look at this. This is a small space, probably 10 by 10 and I can grow so much in three garden beds. These are three Bigo garden beds. I have a couple of pots. I have an in-ground bed there to grow flowers for pollinators. So you can. You can grow a lot in a small area that's about 10 by 10. I have, I think, one tomato, two tomatoes on this green giant tomato here. One there and one there. And the orange accordion has one here. They're super slow going this year. But I'm pollinating with a toothbrush or there's another one here. And that's really helping. But I had to move this pot over. It was over there. So I got to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to clean the coop. I'm going to collect some eggs. And then clean. And what I used to clean is this little mesh thing because I have sand on mine to make it super easy. You just scoop it and all the poo comes out. It makes it so much easier.
have quite a few. We got all the squashes. Patty pan squashes. This one is huge. So I'm going to. <laughs> it's so big. So I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting. another one. So many. Is it worth it again? Yes. Look how narrow this space is. This container has worked so well. I grow my favorite peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some shishito peppers that are ready. Let's see if I can cut them. I'm out to win this with one hand. So I'm gonna cut a few. I got a branch by accident. This is why it's so hard to, uh, not good to work with just one hand, but I want to show you. So let's see. Let's see another one back here. And the other ones, oh, there's one that's pretty big here. So I'm going to get this one here. take this one here too. It's really hard to not cut them. And then let's check in here. Let's go get, I see a cucumber that is ready. There's one, but that one is not ready yet, but there's one back here that's pretty big. And I like to get them off because if you leave them too long, they will think they need to make seeds and the plant won't start, won't continue to produce. There's one. There's another one right here that's huge. That one, look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And then the little one will grow. And I have another one coming out right here. And I think there may be another one that's gonna come out right over there. So, oh, there's two more. Two other cucumbers right there, you see those? And I think these are two different. One was Jay, the other one, I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember, but these are ones that do not need pollination and I think I am in love with them. This one got on the fence. Look at that. It's stuck in there. Oh my gosh, I see one inside too. Here's another one. There's one inside, but I think I'm going to go on the other side and get it. Let's take these. I see down here it's a little small I think I'm gonna leave it probably can use and then this pepper I was growing is purple beauty and it's sick so I'm gonna just get rid of it because it didn't make it Bell peppers are really, really difficult for me to grow. I'm not sure if I'll grow them next year again. Just 
see it's rotted on the bottom so I think I have peppers that are better that I think I'm gonna grow next season but I don't see any other peppers that are ready and I have this green stock full of tomatoes and peppers and I'm gonna check it because oh yeah there's a few tomatoes that are ready so I'm gonna harvest I harvested all of these and this plant is completely packed with fruit so I need to get that ring that goes around for this because like you can see in here this one broke from the weight they still have the tomatoes is surviving but it breaks so you have to get that ring i didn't know they grew so big and that meant how much fruit would grow from it i mean look at these tomatoes are like full so i just want to check see if there's any peppers or anything i am going to harvest some margarine because i'm having it every night so the peppers i these mini peppers, I don't know if they're ready or not, but look how tiny they are. But I, there's a lot of them growing, I'm gonna wait. Um, there's a couple of tomatoes here. Some of these for tonight. They're so delicious. Here is my lemonade blueberry bush and I have all these strawberries. They do the pink flower and I'll show you what they are. They are Rose Bell. So I'm gonna harvest those because I have quite a few to get. I think I waited too long in some of them. I really like this strawberry because it gives so many. Look at that. Let's see. Underneath there's even more. So you gotta search. Sure, there's nothing. Um, oh, that one went bad. I'll leave it for the bird, but this one's still good. And a bird already picked on that one, so I'll leave it for them. Oh, here's another one. So let's see. I, I planted a couple of things here. This is a delicata squash that's just finally starting to grow, but I have a pepper one here, a sweet pepper one. So I know this one is ready. It's really yellow, I need to feed it. I think the other one is not ready. So I'm gonna just get this one. And I want to get some calendula because these I leave for my bunny. She loves them. So I'm gonna get a couple flowers to give to her and then I go ahead and I take this off because I don't want it making seeds. So I need to come back out and do that. This Dahlia is super happy. Look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna gotta give these flowers to the bunny. Oh more calendula here. Then I'm gonna take Okay. I 
another super narrow space. A lot of these urban homes and suburban homes have these spaces that we think are not usable, but they are. I'm growing all of the squash, flowers, lettuces, chard, all sorts of things, herbs, marjoram. I'm even growing dahlias in here and a grapevine right at the end there. So take your space, again, plan it, make sure you know what is going to do well in that space with the amount of sun that you have and you will have an amazing harvest. Last thing I want to do is harvest a couple of these chard for the bunny this afternoon. For dinner I have a slug that's eating so I gotta put some slug bait out today which means I open the beer bar for them. <laughs> so. And let me get also some, some of these that I wanna try. These are fever few. I use them like chamomile. And I place them on my tea with some marjoram. My natural doctor said to do that and it's really been helping. So I'm going to grab a few. I have some dry chamomile, but I wanted to try the fresh citrusy. So here is the harvest for today. And I did not harvest everything because obviously there's a lot of herbs, flowers, and so many more things that I could harvest. But I wanted to show you that if you take care of one small area and learn from that space, you will be able to grow so much food for you and for your family.